Yeah, sure. Uh, just to directly answer your question, really. actually, this actually goes back to the development of, of the alliance itself. And we made a very conscious decision that if we were going to go forward in partnership, we needed to make sure that the two main operators who are operating 90% plus of the network wanted to do that and, and, and wanted to kind of get behind the aim. So that, that was a very, a very deliberate um, decision. In saying that, throughout the development, we've kept smaller operators up to date with, um, with, the, with the work that we were doing. The voluntary partnership agreement that we've, that we've set out and that, that we've signed now makes specific uh, provision for the smaller operators joining the alliance. I would love to see every single smaller operator say, I want to be part of that alliance, I want to get behind the aims of the city region and, and deliver that. And we've started to have some good discussions with, with some, of them, uh, some of them about doing that. But it very much goes to the development and how we went about um, getting the deal that, that we've, we've got um, with the operators. And that's why you don't see that, but we, we, I would hope that we'll be sat here at some point in the future and you would see that representation. Uh, just to add, uh, one of the aspects with the smaller operators is perhaps the contracts that we award supported bus services. So we are reviewing that. Uh, there's quite a differential in quality aspects. And I think up to this point, to be fair, it's been 100% price and not quality. And we're looking to rebalance that so that you start to bridge some of the gaps over a period of time on, on the supported services contract award. And the other one is the, uh, the issue, of, uh, I suppose, on the bus lines now. There's a lot of work being done to get the alliance agreements in place. Now it's time to deliver it. So the work streams will be geared to deliver it. The program management office will come round so that we track each of our commitments because there's quite a lot of interdependencies between the six streams of work that are set out in the report. And that's a, that's a key part of the governance groups as we've, uh, as we've set up that show them in the appendix to the report. I think it's a really important point, um, perhaps in terms of because uh, at the end of the day, none of us wants to have the cosy car or for some solid consensus. Actually, we want something that significantly improves it for the travelling public. And we've started with the two biggest operators, for as much so, actually, our vision is to get every operator involved. In terms of the legal aspects as well, because this is a very important point, you're right that the Monopoly's Emergency Commission does not uh, exist um, in that state anymore, but the Competitions and Markets Authority is um, the kind of successor body. Throughout the process, our legal team and external uh, legal support that we've had on this have constantly referenced that, so there's nothing within this that would contravene any kind of competitions and market authority um, guidance, advice, and rules on this. So but it's really, really important point because we don't want a situation where things aren't on a level playing field. Actually, yeah. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Um,
opportunities you have in terms of your support of bus services in your budget. We do have a reduction target, but we can maximise the commercial network and its coverage. That's part of the work that's going on. So you've got one strand where you're trying to maximise commercial network that will free up areas that perhaps they have to put a support bus services that may offer some finance available to to look at some of the comments you made there that you wouldn't be able to cover from a commercial point of view. So I would say that's quite an important part of how do you do that. that those reviews are one aspect. One is to gain a saving over three years. And the second one is to maximise the commercial network as Matt and his team went through the network reviews so that you can focus on the areas where some of the, you know, the connectivity could be improved within financial limits. So, so if you're asking one tangible aspect, it's those reviews that will they'll be over 12 months. We've started the reviews, we've been through to the authorities, but we'll be going through all the authorities over a 12 month. And that really offers you a platform as to what are the real gaps there. Looks like once you've maximised the commercial sustainable way of financing that network. So I, I put that point as a asking what would be the best that's what mechanism that would suggest that we have here. Yeah, Coach, you can pass No further um, questions or comments. I was just going to finish up um, by saying, uh, just as, as Ron and, and Gordon and others did, um, it's a massive thank you to all the kind of officers that have been involved to get this um, get this done. Our particular name is Matt Shane Raza from a legal perspective, uh, because he's sort of poured over the contracts to make sure that there was no devilish details we weren't happy with, and particularly Liz as well, who kind of has had to. Um, face down uh, a number of people from the operators on numerous occasions to get this done. So really well done and thank you for all your hard work. Um, what I would say is that's probably the easy bit. Um, the difficult bit now is delivering on all those work streams and hitting those key transformational targets that we set uh, because that's what it all boils down to actually delivering a much better outcome for the travelling public uh, than we have at this moment in time. I'm very confident we will be able to do that right team, we've got the right approach, but it involves all that kind of hard work continuing as we go through, forward on that. Equally, it's great we've got this report, uh, but you know, as a committee we will want some regular updates on where the Alliance is up to and how we are progressing <coughs> with those work streams, so I look forward to future meetings for those kind of updates to be coming back to so we can chart the progress, say what's doing really well, what bits do we just need to try harder on, what additional things would we like to see further down the road. So. Lots of opportunities uh, going forward. If I can then move the recommendation in paragraph two of the report, if that's agreed. Agreed. Excellent. There's no um, urgent AOB, so I can thank you for 
standards, we'll see you next week.